All right, let's talk about foaming agent. Foaming agent is the soap that we use to um, inflate our cement. It's what holds the air bubble until we can entrain it into the viscosity of the cement. And the stronger the soap bubble, the longer it lasts, the less it's going to deflate. And yes, you can use dish soap um, at the amount of 15 or 16 ounces of dish soap for each five gallons of foaming solution. Um, when you use Drexel foaming agent, which is an agricultural foaming agent, um, it works you know, so much better than uh, dish soap. Dish soap, if you fill a deep form, uh, say two foot thick, you're going to get you know, quite a bit of deflation. When you use Drexel foaming agent, you're going to get less deflation, but you're still going to get some deflation. Um, and then um, what we are using now uh, that works very well is the Veramax 320. It is a foaming agent that's actually made for cement. Um, and you get virtually, you know, very little to no deflation whatsoever in your cement pour when you use the Veramax. So it is as a much of an improvement over Drexel as Drexel is over dish soap. And it saves a lot of frustration, it saves time, and it maintains the insulating value of your air creep. And that's very important. Now, cost-wise, if you're buying uh, Drexel right now uh, at the cost of shipping, unless you happen to find some kind of deal uh, from a big store that doesn't charge much for shipping, it's going to be around uh, $40 for a gallon of Drexel, and that makes it about a $1.42 in Drexel for each six cubic foot batch of air creep that you make. Um, but you can buy it by the gallon, whereas Veramax is $2.05 per batch or 63 cents more expensive. Um, and that includes shipping and you're having to buy five gallons. So it's a pretty big purchase price up front, but if you're building actual buildings, you need five gallons or more anyway. So this is the way to go um, because even if you, uh, if you look at the price difference that is between the Drexel and this, for five gallons you're only saving three dollars getting the Drexel. It's not worth it. It's really not. Um, this is a well-made product um, and even when you're mixing the cement, when, you, when you're mixing with um, uh, Drexel, you notice it kind of has a cottage cheese fluffiness. It doesn't have an, a consistency. Uh, there's some, some variations in the mix. Whereas using this, it has other agents in the mix and the air creep is super smooth and even if you pour it a little too liquidy, uh, more than you probably should, the batch still sets with virtually no deflation. So it's worth every penny when it comes to building a house to use Veramax or something like this. It is purpose made for aerating cement. Um, now. Again, this uses the foam machine. This is not the chemicals that you add together that generates a foam and then inflates it. Um, though you can also use those products, um, I believe that this is still a very cost-effective and low-tech method without adding unnecessary chemicals to your mix. So, something for you to consider uh, when you go to building your aircrete house, you're going to want a good foaming agent that does not deflate um, and assist you in making a better quality air creep. And right now for us that is the Veramax 320.